All right, my friend, welcome back again. My name is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi. I'm the founder here at The Fit Father Project, and I am excited for today's video. We're gonna talk about the benefits of L-carnitine. Does L-carnitine work, work for weight loss? Does it work for fat loss? Is it cracked up to all the hype that's out there? We're gonna cover all that in this video, and I'm gonna give you our specific recommendations based on the research of L-carnitine and some ideas on fat loss supplements. Specifically, you're gonna learn that although L-carnitine seems like it's really cracked up, it might not live up to the hype. So I know you're gonna learn a ton in this video. Get out your pen and paper, take some notes, and let's dive on in. Fitfatherproject.com all right, so what is L-carnitine? Let's start there with the basics. And to look at L-carnitine, we actually have to look at how our bodies actually burn fat. Inside all of our major organs and cells, we have these things called mitochondria. And what mitochondria are, you might have heard of them as the powerhouses of our cells. And one of the main functions of mitochondria is that they burn fat and they convert that fat into ATP, the energy currency of our body that we can actually use. So they burn fat, increase ATP, and this is where carnitine comes in. What carnitine does is helps shuttle the fatty acids into the mitochondria so they can be burned. So the logic stands like this. If we have more L-carnitine in the body, that can shuttle in more fat into the mitochondria and we can burn more fat. More L-carnitine, more fat burning. At least that's why we started supplementing because it kind of makes logical sense. But we're gonna see in a second why it's not actually all cracked up what it used to be. But let's take a step back. Where does L-carnitine come from? Well, it comes from the Latin root carnis, which actually is related to the word carnivore. So where do you think a lot of the sources of L-carnitine come in our diets? Well, it comes from meat. And in fact, a four ounce portion of steak, so you take your fist and you make it like that, roughly four ounces, has around 100 milligrams of L-carnitine. But the supplemental dose of carnitine that a lot of people take um, is roughly around one, two, or three grams. So the amount you might get in a four ounce steak is around one tenth to one thirtieth of the amount in supplements. So yes, we can get carnitine from our foods, and this is why people who eat, eat an omnivorous diet, they eat plants and animals, do get carnitine into their diets and that vegetarian and vegans get less carnitine because they're not eating meat, but our bodies can actually make carnitine. It's so essential for this fat burning process in the mitochondria that our livers and our kidneys can actually make L-carnitine by combining some different amino acids. So our bodies can make L-carnitine, it's important in fat loss, so it kind of reasons to stand that we could supplement it and get benefits. Well, the research does show some benefits to L-carnitine supplementation but not necessarily for weight loss. The things that are actually research proven to show is L-carnitine improves insulin sensitivity in people with diabetes. And this is super important because insulin sensitivity is directly related to weight loss. If we're more insulin sensitive, meaning our bodies don't have to constantly release a ton of insulin to process carbs, we're gonna burn more fat. L-carnitine is also shown to improve memory in uh, age-related dementia and cognitive decline because our brains also use L-carnitine for energetic functions. If our brain has more energy, our memory kind of improves. And this happens in older populations, so L-carnitine has some benefits potentially as a nootropic cognitive boosting supplement. And we also find that L-carnitine helps for fertility in men because our sperm actually benefit from having L-carnitine. They can produce more energy, they work better, and that helps with fertility. So these are some of the research proven benefits, but turns out L-carnitine, even though it's really good in theory, doesn't actually translate to real world weight loss results. L-carnitine does not meet the weight loss hype. It will not accelerate your weight loss or your fat loss to an appreciable degree that you can notice, unlike some other supplements that do, such as caffeine, green tea extract, and good old diet and exercise. So there are better supplements than L-carnitine for weight loss by a large margin. L-carnitine is not cracked up what it's, what it's all supposed to be, but there are the benefits that we did discuss so far. So if you're a person with diabetes, or you or someone in your family is experiencing cognitive decline, or you wanna increase your chances of being more fertile, then L-carnitine supplementation could be for you. But it's not without costs. Remember I talked about how around three grams of L-carnitine is one of these standard supplemental doses. Well, what the research finds is a couple things. One, there is this really odd uh, and characteristic side effect of L-carnitine that increases a fishy odor in your body. When you take L-carnitine at high doses, it kicks off some kind of odor in your body, um, and I'm not in, in really sure why, so if you know from the research about does L-carnitine contain some kind of sulfur um, side chain, if you're a chemist, let me know, because I'm very curious, but this is a documented side effect. So um, not a necessarily good thing, doesn't happen to all people, but it certainly can happen. But there's something else that is even worse, in my opinion, than necessarily just smelling fishy. It's that L-carnitine um, is actually metabolized by our gut bacteria, and it turns it into 
speaking to a compound called TMAO, and that's an abbreviation. Um, and what TMAO is linked to is heart disease. TMAO actually can cause atherosclerosis, where our arteries get hardened and we build up plaque. And so high TMAO is very positively correlated with heart disease. And this is one reason why um, high animal protein diets, this is how the vegetarians and vegans kind of say it, increase TMAO, which contributes to heart disease. Very interesting, people who eat plant-based diets do not have the gut bacteria that convert carnitine into TMAO. Um, and so actually your liver's involved too in that metabolic step. But point being is that really supplementing with super high levels of carnitine um, can probably increase TMAO levels, which is not necessarily good for your heart. And there's a big difference as we talked about between you know, having a steak, which may have around 100 to 200 milligrams of carnitine versus taking three whopping grams, 3,000 milligrams. So for heart health, and the fact that it really doesn't work well for weight loss, it's probably not a great everyday supplement for um, someone out there looking to lose weight. And there are plenty of better supplements out there. We talked about getting some black coffee or some caffeine, getting that green tea, you know, getting plenty of sleep, diet, exercise, all this other stuff. For me, L-carnitine doesn't make the cut as a staple supplement. Things like fish oil, curcumin, a multivitamin, and some of the green tea extracts, those are standard good dosing supplements as well as the probiotics for weight loss. So for me, L-carnitine doesn't make the cut. That's not to say it's not without benefits, but it does have some side effects. So I hope this cleared this up for you. If you want a deeper dive and your goal right now is to lose some weight, to lean up, get rid of some body fat, then the foundational stuff is the diet, the sleep, the exercise, and I want to help you with that in a deeper way. The best way we have is we have this free one day weight loss meal plan for busy fathers. It's linked below. You can click the links. You can click on this video. It's all over the place, but it's a free meal plan that I'll actually send to your email. I'm going to walk you through an entire day of healthy eating. Breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner, everything to eat, all the proper portions, the recipes, and that's going to be the foundation of your weight loss results, and I'll send that right to your email. Over 100,000 guys have already used this free meal plan. They're losing tons of weight. It's your turn to experience the results for yourself. And in the follow-up training that I'll give you via email, we'll actually talk about some supplements that do work. So I hope you found this video valuable. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me and my team know that uh, you learned something cool today. If you have other questions, please feel free to comment below and let us know. We're shooting Q&A series all the time. Our Fit Father Project channel is blowing up on YouTube, so we're really happy about that. Um, and as a way of rewarding you as a valuable subscriber, we're here to answer your questions. So I'm here on video every single week. I'll answer your Q&As. Put them below and also hit subscribe so you get notified when we publish new videos. So thanks for being here, my friend. Check out that free one-day meal plan. Check out our other videos, and I hope to see you around the channel, and I'll talk to you very soon.